Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest and fastest ways to add authentication to your Next.js application. So we're going to use this service called Clerk for the authentication and I'll guide you step by step on creating the entire authentication. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I have created this folder called authentication and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's go to the terminal and uh, let's write this command called npx create next app at latest. And uh, since we want to create this in the current directory, I'll just type dot over here and press enter. So this command is used to create a Next.js application. So I'll just select TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind CSS and we'll just say no for the source directory. And yes for the app router and turbo pack and now for changing the import alias so now the next.js application is being created all right so we can see that our next.js application was created so if i just go ahead and type npm run dev and if i open this link we can see that our next.js application is displayed over here so i'll just go ahead and uh, go to app page.tsx file so this is uh, the page that is displayed over here so I'll just uh, delete everything inside the div and also delete all these classes. And for the class, I'll just type padding y of 12 text Excel and here let's type home page. So this is our home page. Let's also add some styles to the layout. So this is the layout file and uh, this is where we have the HTML and body tags. So here I'll just go ahead and add some classes. I'll just create a div and uh, I'll just wrap the div around the children. And let's add some classes. So let's type class name max width of 5xl, mx auto to bring it to the center horizontally and padding of 8. Let's type display of flex and uh, flex direction to column. And let's also type items center. So this is how it looks. All right now let's add a nav bar so that we can go to different pages easily. So I'll just create a folder called components. And in that I'll just create a file called navbar.tsx. And here let's type export default function navbar. And I'll just type return. I'll just return a nav element. And let's add link tags from next link. And uh, here I'll just type home. Let's type href and let's set it to home page. Let's duplicate this a couple more times. And uh, here let's type dashboard. Here let's type about. And uh, let's type sign in. I'll just uh, delete this link over here. Let's change the href. So let's type dashboard and uh, about. And here let's type sign in. Now for the nav tag, let's type class name. Let's type display of flex, gap of eight, and uh, text of large. And now if you go back to our uh, layout.tsx file, we can add the nav bar over here. So just before the children, I'll just type nav bar. And we have just imported it from components now bar. So now if we go back to our website here, we can see this is how it looks. Now we cannot go to these pages because uh, we haven't created them, but we have the home page over here. So let's quickly go ahead and create these pages. So to create a new page in next year, so you can just create a new folder called the page route. So I'll just type about, and then you have to create a page called page.tsx in that. And I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this code from here. So this is the code of the home page. I just copy this and paste it over here. And let's change this to about. And here let's type about. And let's create one more page called dashboard. And let's paste it over here and let's type dashboard over here. And here let's type dashboard. And now if we go back to our website, we can see that we can go to different pages over here. We'll create the sign in page after setting up clerk. So let's go to the clerk website. So this is the official website. You can just go to clerk.com and let's create a new account in clerk. So let's go to sign in and uh, I'll just sign in with GitHub. So here let's select live blogger GitHub account and let's click on continue. And we need to authorize clerk. So let's click on authorize. And here we can see our clerk account was created. So now this is the page where we can configure our sign in component. So right now it is selecting email and Google. You can select any of these. So I'll just also select GitHub. 
So now we can see we have sign in with Google, GitHub or email ID. Right now let's click on create application. Right now we can see we have this guide. So let's select Next.js and the first thing we need to do is install this package. So let's copy this. Let's go back to the terminal. Let's uh, stop the server and uh, let's paste the command over here. Let's press enter. And with that clerk was installed. So now let's go ahead and copy these environment variables. So let's copy this. Let's create a new file called .env and let's paste the environment variables over here. All right, now let's go back and uh, let's copy this middleware.ts code. So let's copy this and let's create a new file called middleware.ts and let's paste the code over here. And now if you go back here, we can see we need to add the clerk provider to the layout. So this is it. Let's go back to the layout file and let's go just before the HTML and let's tap clerk provider and let's wrap the HTML with the clerk provider and uh, that's it now we can go ahead and uh, run our application and with that we have clerk set up but we also need to create the sign in page so let's go to continue to next guide and uh, here for the sign in page we have to create this catch all route so let's copy this let's go back over here and in the app let's create a new file and let's paste it and let's press enter so with that we have this folder created called sign in and that we have this folder with this catch all route and then we have this page.tsx file so let's go ahead and copy and paste this code from here for the about page and let's paste it over here and i'll just return the sign in component from clerk next.js here let's type sign in page and uh, here let's type sign in and let's import it from clerk next.js so now let's go ahead and uh, run our server so let's type npm run dev now let's go back to our website and reload so now if you click on sign in we can see that our sign in component is being displayed over here and all the other pages are also working correctly now let's go back over here and uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, update our middleware file now here we can go ahead and determine which of our routes are public so let's go ahead and copy this code from here everything else is inside our middleware file already so here we have the export default clerk middleware so i'll just replace this with the code and let's import this from clerk next.js server now here we can go ahead and add any number of pages which should be public so for now here i'll just add the home page and uh, the about page so these are public and we also have the sign in page so now if you go back and if i go to home page we can see that home page is being displayed over here if i go to about we can see about is being displayed but if i go to dashboard we can see that we have this uh, sign in page displayed over here but we can see that we have a different url over here but we want to stay in our current uh, website url so for that let's go back and let's scroll down and here we need to add these environment variables so let's copy these and uh, let's go to the env file and let's paste them over here so this is the public clerk sign in url so this will stay in our current website and here we can configure where should we go after signing in so let's tap dashboard and after signing up let's go to the sign in page so now let's go ahead and uh, close this let's go back and uh, now if you go ahead and if i click on sign in page we can see that we are not going to a random website we are going to our own website forward slash sign in all right now let's go ahead and uh, register a new user so i'll just register using github and let's go ahead and click on continue and let's click on authorize clerk And now we can see we are able to access the dashboard so we can also go to home page about and dashboard and if i go to sign in we are redirected to the dashboard so everything is working perfectly now after signing in let's go ahead and display a profile picture and also the sign out button so for that let's go back let's go to the dashboard file and here i'll just go ahead and uh, type const user equals await 
current user so we need to also change this into an async function because we are using await and here first of all we'll just uh, type welcome and let's type user dot first name so now if we go back we can see that we have the first name displayed over here and uh, let's also go ahead and add the profile picture over here so let's go to the nav bar and we need to display the sign in button only when we are signed out so let's tap signed out let's import it from clerk next yes. and uh, let's also type signed in so if we are signed in then we'll just go ahead and use user button so this is already provided by clerk so let's import this and now if we go back we can see that we have our profile picture displayed over here we can go ahead and also manage our account so there are a lot of different things we can do and we can also delete the account from here set the password over here and we also have the option of signing out so let's click on sign out and now we can see once we sign out we have the sign in button displayed over here so everything is being displayed correctly we don't have the access to the dashboard but if we sign in we are redirected to the dashboard with this message if you want you can go ahead and go to your application and configure a lot of things so if you go to configure you can also add new SSO connection so if you go over here and if I click on add connection for all users we can select any of these from here so you can log in using Twitter, Microsoft, Discord and a lot of different things and you can also go over here to users and uh, you can find all the users that have signed up for your application you can also go ahead and uh, ban the users from here delete the user and all these things over here so that's basically how quick and simple it is to add authentication to your next year's application using clerk so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day